Need motivation? Watch Top 10 with Believe Nation. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan. I believe in you, and this channel is designed to be a part of your daily success routine. So let's get your motivation to a 10 and get you believing in you. Grab a snack and chew on today's lessons from a man who went from being a college dropout to a multi-millionaire at age 24 and being the co-founder of Elite Daily, a publication with over 80 million people reading it every single month. He's Gerard Adams, and here's my take on his top 10 rules of success. Okay, let's kick it off with rule number one, seize today. I feel life is short. Like I feel like a lot of people don't recognize like, really, the universe is billions and billions of years and yet we have, you know, my grandfather just celebrated his 99th birthday. I was like, nice. that was amazing. And he's going, I'm he's going Yeah, he's it. going. I definitely think he's definitely going above 100. And hopefully, hopefully I have that. We don't yeah. have, but you know what he said to me when I hung out with him? He just really reiterated, he just like, Gerard, first of all, he's like, there is no tomorrow. There is only today, only today. And I'd be like, so many of you, so many of you are waiting for tomorrow instead of actually thinking about what you wanna to create today. Rule number two, take risks. What is the like value of risk for an entrepreneur? Like the, the ability to take risk? It's everything, it's part of my DNA. You know, um, it's just like I'm constantly every day trying to challenge myself, you know, to push myself to take risk, whether it's in my personal life, you know, pushing myself to new environments, try, trying new things. And why do you do that? People. It helps me grow. You know, I grow as an individual. Every time I try to do something that scares me, I just like, afterwards, like, I just, it empowers me. I feel, you know, I feel like I've learned something. I've grown. I've learned about a new culture. I've learned about a new person. I always feel like I can learn something new from someone, no matter who they are, you know, so. Um, and then with ideas, like, I, you know, I just love, I'm not afraid to fail. You know, for me, there's nothing more powerful than creating something. And if it's going wrong, like, solving, okay, how, let's pivot. Let's figure out why it's not working and continuing until, you know, we actually have built something that people, you know, see value in mm -hmm. and has grown. And uh, when something does work, the reward of like seeing people come together for one thing and all, everyone kind of believing in that mission and believing in that idea and believing in it, it's just like, there's nothing more rewarding. To me, that's like, uh, it's, it's, a, it's best moments of my life have been like when I've taken a big risk and I've seen it come to fruition and like, it's gone from this idea to people, to like actual people, f like, you know, all making it reality. Rule number three, have an abundance mindset. It's something I talk about a lot called over analysis paralysis. You start taking so many different opinions, paying attention to everything everybody has to say about what about you, what you should be doing, all of a sudden it can start to paralyze you. You start overanalyzing, you know? And at the end of the day, entrepreneurship is about moving forward, taking action. You know what I mean? Teamwork, we all, everyone should play a role on the team. Everyone should have a voice. It just take one little instance, to sh one little, one, one thing in the game, one steal, one block, one shot, one pass, one thing that can shape momentum, that can completely change the game from you losing or winning. I think it was, we talked about this yesterday. I forget who it was, but somebody who knew Kobe. Kobe was watching a video of a kid in high school who had like one single move that Kobe never saw, he loved it. So he showed up early at Staples Center, right? From this watching the kid in high school and he started doing that move over and over and over and over, right? And his boy was like, yo, when are you gonna stop practicing that move? And he said, until, that's it, until. You know what that meant? until he mastered it. As men, as long as it took for him to master that one move, he would, was gonna continue to practice that move. That's what you just have to do. You have to be early, show up in that gym. Every single day, every single day, put in that work, master your strengths, know yourself every single day, keep pushing forward, right? Have that abundance mentality, make your team better every single day. And watch how it starts manifesting for you in your life personally and in business and in your career. 
and then you'll have that true success. Rule number four, stay ahead of the curve. My fourth tip is all about learning, staying ahead of the curve by every single day, reading your favorite publication, doing research about your industry or other like real trendsetters in your industry. You know, it could also be reading a book and you know, from your favorite author or from another entrepreneur and like learning about their journey. And you never know when you'll be able to find a nugget, whether that's researching online or reading a book or even listening to a podcast, but you should consistently every day make sure you're taking time to push yourself to learn something new. Rule number five, focus on your strengths. As an entrepreneur, you typically want to do it all. And a lot of times in the very beginning, you are wearing every hat and trying to do it all. And you have to be resourceful. You have to be willing to get your hands dirty and do a little bit of everything in the beginning. But then it's like, okay, really buckle down. And I even had to go through this with myself. You know, there was times I was like trying to do too much, trying to do, trying to do it all. And like figure out like, what am I really, really passionate about? And what am I really great at? And what is that one thing that I can do the very best on my team to add the most value? You know, for the you know for this idea of business, and then so figuring out okay, who do, who do you really need? You know, do you need that chief operating officer, that person that's going to really help you with the operations and logistics and the infrastructure? Who do you need that you know mark someone that's going to handle your marketing? That's just badass, and all they care about is like how they're going to be able to tell this story to the marketplace and be able to retain people that will become customers. And you know, who are the people that you need you know around you, and what are you really truly great at? Rule number six, believe in yourself. You can do whatever you want today. You can start an app, you can launch a website, you can launch a product. You can do whatever you want to become successful if you believe in yourself, if you're willing to put in the work, if you're willing to grind, if you're willing to be passionate, if you're willing to get out there. There's no book, there's no movie, there's no YouTube video that will literally guide you to become successful. It's about you and what's inside of you if you have what it takes. This is possible. If I did it, if I did it, you can do it. I was told that I wasn't gonna make it. I wasn't the smartest kid. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I had the fear of failure. I don't know what tomorrow looks like. I have uncertainty just like all of you. But I never stopped believing. I never, every time I was doubt or I had doubts, I picked myself back up. I said I would never give up. I made myself that promise. You need to make yourself that promise. And when you have that type of commitment, watch how much manifests in your life. Watch how you transform into somebody that's unbreakable, that will accomplish anything that you think and dream of in your entire life. Rule number seven, get quality sleep. If you wanna be an effective entrepreneur, you need to be able to have good quality sleep. This is the most important aspect of making sure that you are running on all cylinders. The quality of your sleep matters just as much, if not more, than how long you sleep. And for me as an entrepreneur with so much on my mind all the time, you know, I can't have a mattress that causes me to toss and turn. The more rest I have, the quality of sleep, no tossing and turning, the comfort, you know, it allows me to, to make better decisions, have better energy the next day, just truly be the most efficient Gerard that I can possibly be. Rule number eight, thrive under pressure. I love pressure. I love adversity. I actually like, th I'm actually, I perform better with pressure really? and adversity. For sure. I wasn't the kid who like was able to like study for like the test. Mm -hmm. but when it came time to take that test, like I'm like, I, I get really focused and prepared for that. It's the same thing with speaking engagements now. You know, like I'm really bad at like preparing from a TEDx. Like people prepare for like months. Like my TEDx, I didn't prepare. <laughs> I waited, it was like the day of like <laughs> TEDx and I was like, wow. you know, all right, it's game time. Like get focused and what, are the, what is it that we want to accomplish here? What is the message? Um, that was great because my mother, that was the first time my mother showed up. I dedicated it to my mom. But I always thrived uh, over adversity and uh, when I- And what are you saying to yourself at this point? Like, how do you leverage the pressure? Is it just literally subconscious and you show up or are you saying like, hey, there's pressure, there's people that wanna see me fail, there's no way I'm gonna let this happen. Yeah, um, it's definitely subconscious. Um, just throughout my entire life, I've had moments like that where I've almost even died, you know, like scuba diving, almost drowning, and like my air breaking, and me, me being like, I'm underwater right now, I don't have air, I may die, what's gonna happen? 
And then like, lo and behold, like somehow, like the person next to me like sees that I'm choking and like, boom, gives me their air. And I'm like, okay, and get to the top. Whoa. Or like when I'm snowboarding backcountry and you know, my friends all lose me and it gets dark and I'm in the middle of the mountain and like, I have no helmet. And I'm like, I gotta get to the bottom of this mountain and there's rocks and trees. And I'm like, okay, pull yourself together. This is adversity at its finest. Like you gotta get down this mountain, you know? And like throughout my life, I've had moments like this happen. And it's just like, over time, I see that fear and I'm like, I'm running right through it. You know, there's nothing that's gonna hold me. There's times I'm flying in the plane. I'm like, this plane may go down, but you know, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with dying. Like that's because now it's like, I'm doing, I know I'm doing everything I possibly can every single day to inspire and impact the people around me. And if I die, I know that I've done my part as much as I possibly can. Rule number nine, find mentors. That first semester I realized that college was a big business. And I was like, they're telling me what classes to take. And I wanted to learn, how do I learn how to invest? How do I learn how to start a business? The first semester, people are partying more than in, in, uh, in college than they were in high school. They're telling me what classes. I was like, this isn't for me. And if I'm gonna take a risk, I should take it now. There is no book in the world or no classroom in the world that will be able to teach you entrepreneurship. Having a mentor and being an apprentice is literally invaluable for you to learn how to actually start your own company and become successful. It was for me, it was for my last apprentice who went on to build a company of over 200 people, selling for $50 million in three years, and it is for you. And rule number 10, the last one before a very special bonus clip, is don't sleepwalk through life. Humanity is facing an epidemic. We are plagued by fear. It has become the predominant emotion of our planet. Fear of rejection, fear of not being good enough, fear of not being loved, the fear of failure, But the fear that scares me the most is that we continue to sleepwalk during our short time here on Earth, never truly waking up to make our dreams a reality. We have these fears and anxieties because we swing on the pendulum of time into the future, into the past, never stopping to acknowledge the present. You see, all of us are walking forward with this mirror in front of us, looking backwards, yet all we really need to do is look within. Stop looking out into the world for answers and start looking within yourself. The world is going through a massive change. Our planet is shifting back into a generation of consciousness and human connection. For this to happen, we must know that in order for us to change the world, we must change oneself. The day that you realize that you have the ability to master your mind, your beliefs, and your imagination, will be the moment that you experience the abundance of what's truly possible in your world. This truth will be the most momentous of your entire life. It will be the day that you initiate ownership of your destiny. Understand that your feelings create your thoughts, your thoughts create your feelings, your feelings create your actions, and this is how you create your reality. I got pulled over by all these cops. I thought I was gonna go to jail. And why? Why? What was he doing? I was selling weed. Okay, wait. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get it out of you. Uh, get it out of you. So I was selling weed. It wasn't like anything too crazy. Yeah. Um, but you know, it, you know, you could get you get in trouble with yeah. that. Shit, you know what I mean? And um, I used to drive home from high school, and I, one of my one of the kids' moms, she was in an apartment, first four, like ground floor, and it was a normal thing for me every single day. Just go and give her, her you know, her 20, and it was like no big deal. And one day, all these cops pull up all around me. Woo, woo, woo. And I'm like, this is it. I'm about to go, I'm about to get arrested. I'm going to disappoint my family. I'm going to disappoint my, all these students. I'm going to be that failure. I'm going to be that, that example. What is this going to look like for, like, my, my whole life, bro. But like, quickly, my reaction was I had tinted windows. It was my friend's mom, the kid I was on high school. So I called him up. I'm like, yo, Wally, it was his, it was his nickname. Mm. Yo, the cops are here. You gotta come outside right now. I'm telling them picking you up, picking you up. They hang up the phone, close. The cops are dun 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 dun. My window. Next thing you know, flashlights, low my window. I'm like, I'm just picking up my friend. He came outside like, no, we go to high school together. And I just kid you not, the other cop goes, not him. And right in front of me, somebody was committing grand theft auto. Oh. And I saw them arrest this kid 
in front of me, in the car in front of me. And to me, that was like God. It's a sign. A yeah. guardian angel. I always felt like it was like a guardian angel sitting to me like, it, you, you, do you, is that what you want in your life? Like, this is yeah, so one shot. Right there. That was it. That was my one chance. And from that moment forward, I said, I'm never going to do anything like this ever again. I'm going to start channeling my hustle mentality to business. Yeah. And I want to like, you know, I want to level up. Raise your standard. Apple at the core, its core value is that we believe that people with passion can change the world for the better. Not one drop of my self-worth depends on your acceptance of me. If you like this video and want more inspiration, check out the top 10 rules video I did on Tom Bilyeu. The link is right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. The only credit I will give myself is when other people break and give up and stop, I just don't.